Now I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to take this sample we have here, which is 95 BPM. See it right there. We're going to make it into 100, as you can see, based on the BPMs of the song. And what we got going on here is the beat. Let's play the beat back a little bit. Okay. And so I've got my detect here. Sensitivity is 50. We're in auto because auto recognizes that's 95 BPM. If I was in manual, I try to, it will say, well, this is actually the, the many BPMs. But here in auto, it already detected it. We can add or remove slices, and now, we've done all this, we can apply. So we'll apply it. Now once you do, what happens is that machine automatically goes to, as you can see here, back to piano roll. And each slice is in like a little step here, the way it's like in a Rex file for reasons. It's in a step, and these steps represent the beat. So for right now, let's scroll back up here. I'm going to solo this, and we're going to play it back from the top. Now, it's going to play all these slices, and there are eight slices right there, and they correspond to the first eight pads for this particular sound slot. Or, if it's on a keyboard, as you can see right here, they correspond to the eight notes after C. See here? And they're running in sync, so I can press play again. And they're right there and they'll match up so this is kind of cool so I can always just add more stuff into it but this gives you the loop that you want to have so you want to loop you can loop it up and it matches your tempo okay so I've got my loop here that's my sample I made it fit this tempo of 100 BPM now if you got a sample you want to use you got a song you made up and you want to bring some samples in of course is the way to do it so we've already made it into a sample here, but it's given it a separate brand new sequence here, right? So it's a separate one. It's a separate pattern here, which is pattern number four. And pattern number one goes like this. So I may want to take this pattern out. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go to pattern right with pattern mode right there, pattern icon. I select that. I want to grab this part of the pattern, so I'm going to get this section right here, right? And I want to take this pattern and stick it in there. I can go like, let's try something else. I can go to right here. And I go to right here and copy it, since it is one bar long, right? And I want to go back here, and that's when it paste. And it's in there. Now I want to play it from the top. it out or put it back in. We're going to take some parts I would want. And you can make it adjust for your pattern. You can take out some kick drums you want. So I can go to here. I'll pull these out. And play it again. So I'm sort of adjusting my pattern around my loop. I can bring maybe an element in. That's how you can do it. So you're getting your loop in, you've got it in, you put a pattern in, and you can adjust. Take this part, this part in here, and sort of make your pattern build up with your loop.